realms of unusual experiences. Revelation chapter 1 verses 9 and 10, I, John, both your brother and companion in the tribulation and kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was on the island that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and I heard behind me a loved voice as of a trumpet. We're talking about the prophetic realms and various aspects of the prophetic. And uh, we mentioned today that one of the realms, one of the aspects of the prophetic realm is that it is a realm of unusual experiences, spiritual experiences that we're talking about. And we just read a few verses here from Revelation 1, talking about John. He had been banished from the island of Patmos. And he says, on the Lord's day, which for us is the Sunday, he had an unusual experience. He says, I was in the spirit and I began to see things in the spirit. I began to hear things in the spirit. So the prophetic is the realm of unusual experiences. Now the Holy Spirit who is in us as believers, who is upon us as believers, he is the spirit of prophecy. He's the spirit inspires, breathes prophecy. He's a prophetic spirit, the spirit of the prophets. And so he opens this realm up for us of unusual experiences. Now, for many of us believers, these things may be very foreign to us. Uh, maybe our journey of faith has been very regimented to certain traditions and certain routines that we do. But New Testament faith, the Bible, the New Testament is, is full of unusual experiences that are brought in to the life of the believer by the Holy Spirit. And so we are trying to sensitize you or sensitize us or open our understanding to welcome the work of the Spirit in this manner. Now, the Holy Spirit can enable us to experience things in the realm of the Spirit, just like John. And you can have unusual experiences, encounters with the presence of God. Uh, there can be moments when the presence of God overwhelms you and God reveals things to you. Uh, he speaks to you. A revelation of who He is comes into your heart. A revelation of a certain truth from Scripture comes into your heart. Uh, there could be different kinds of experiences in the realm of the prophetic. And we're just making mention of a few things. Uh, we see Philip being caught up in the, by the Spirit, trans physically transported from one place to another in the book of Acts. Uh, we see Peter one afternoon, he's waiting for lunch and he falls into a trance and he sees a vision and, and God speaks to him so powerfully telling him to go to the Gentiles, encouraging him to do that. We see Paul when he's wondering which, where, where to go to minister. He sees a vision of a man from Macedonia saying, come over and help us. All of these are unusual prophetic experiences through dreams, through visions, through trances. The Holy Spirit is communicating with His people, leading them, directing them in the ways and in the purposes of God. I want to encourage you, I want to encourage us to open our hearts and say, Holy Spirit, you're welcome to do this in my life for the purpose of God's work here on earth. Let's pray. Loving Holy Spirit, you are the spirit of prophecy. You are the spirit of the prophets. Move upon us. Open us to your ways and your workings so that we can further the work of the kingdom here on earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.